For the first time in Australian history, a former Prime Minister has been formally censured by the House of Representatives. Ex-Prime Minister Scott Morrison has been censured for secretly appointing himself to several key ministries during the COVID-19 pandemic. The historic motion brought by the ruling Labour Party censured Morrison because he had secretly taken charge of five ministerial portfolios during the pandemic, namely health, finance, treasury, resources and home affairs. By a vote of 86 to 50, the parliament recorded that the former conservative leader's actions eroded public trust in Australia's democracy and made proper accountability impossible. He owes an apology to the Australian people for the undermining of democracy and that's why this motion should be supported by every member of this House. Morrison was in the chamber during much of the debate. Where he firmly held his ground and defended his actions. I am proud, Mr. Speaker, at a time of extreme trial, my government stood up and faced the abyss of uncertainty that our country looked into and the coercion of a regional bully and saw Australia through the storm. Australia emerge stronger under my government. I have no intention now, Mr Speaker, of submitting to the political intimidation of this government using its numbers in this place to impose its retribution on a political opponent. Yeah. Yeah. Morrison, however, did admit that he had some misgivings about keeping his appointment secret. But he claimed that he had been asked by journalists he would have made it public. In each of the decisions taken during my time as Prime Minister to administer departments... Mr Speaker, I acknowledge that the non-disclosure of arrangements has caused unintentional offence and extend an apology to those who were offended. But, Mr Speaker, I do not apologise for taking action, especially prudent redundancy action, in a national crisis in order to save lives and to save livelihoods. This is the first time that the former Australian Prime Minister has publicly commented on the controversy since his secret actions were exposed in August. Before the debate came up, he had released two written statements through his lawyers. For all that, Scott Morrison's actions were ultimately found to be legal, that his use of extraordinary ministerial powers to block a major gas project is being challenged in court. The former Prime Minister has rejected calls to resign from Parliament. Meanwhile, Anthony Albanese has signalled that Parliament will now try to change the law to ensure that ministerial appointments have to be made public. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.